Worldwide, 1.8 billion people still drink contaminated water, and more than 1 billion people practice open defecation. Wash agencies are trying to tackle these issues, and the health benefits stemming from them are numerous. Cases of diarrheal diseases have been reduced by 70%, and between 1990 to 2012, there was a 71% drop in child deaths. Economically speaking, every dollar invested in WASH has a $19 return. These numbers show the great importance of investing in WASH. However, the provision of improved WASH services is unable to keep up with the population growth, and access to adequate sanitation is severely lagging behind. Many one-off investments and projects reach only a small number of people, and few projects succeed in scaling up. Traditionally, WASH agencies' response was more funding, larger projects, but this is shifting towards a key role for innovative business-led approaches that promise the necessary scale and sustainability. The WASH Alliance believes this is the way forward to ensure water and sanitation for all. We therefore embarked upon a quest for adequate systems that enable upscaling and the delivery of WASH services. 17 key innovators from Nepal, Bangladesh, Ghana and Ethiopia went to find the secrets of successful approaches that will help make the Dutch Wash Alliance future-proof. On this journey, we try to answer questions like what are the best inclusive business models? What does a sustainable public-private partnership look like? What is the future role of NGOs? How can our sanitation program reach 10 million people instead of 10,000? And if we succeed, who's going to build two or three million toilets? We extensively researched the three pillars on which this system change is built. Inclusive business models. I looked into the challenges there may be in the business sector for the NGO and I found out that uh, there is a gap. We need to have some advocacy even for the governments and even for the NGOs working on the sector. Okay, so there is a lack of entrepreneurs in the yeah. private sector. Yeah. It's difficult for people to enter business. Public-private partnerships. There needs to be a clear role and responsibility of each partner. Some of the partners do not have the adequate skills and that jeopardizes the partnership. Shifting role of NGOs. Now we will, we will take responsibility of bringing new approaches or strategies which we saw already tested and uh, productive in other areas. Then, during an exchange visit in Ghana, we took our newly gained insights to the field. We saw how Integret combines a microfinance scheme for income generating activities and sanitation services. We learned how UDS is experimenting with poo as a valuable resource, feeding black soldier fly larvae for harvesting as high-protein animal food. And we saw how CLIP facilitated the cooperation between different public and private partners, leading to an inspiring value chain that turns household waste into organic fertilizer. For last year under the WASH program, we started piloting the household separation. We supplied some selected communities with dust bins to separate the waste at that source for us so that we'll use it for the composting. While in Nepal to prepare the experiments, we were asked to perform as consultants for Enfo and Lumanti, providing them with advice on how to make the best of their most promising business opportunities. So I, I got two insights. One is uh, cost, it's a higher cost. And second is the lack of local availability of the materials. So they, they invested on their own, so no loan. So this is a good system because of the using cow dung and their human feces. And ultimately the residue is going out. Yeah. And they are using as a fertilizer. They are using it to cook food for four, four family members, two times a day. In between exchanging knowledge and learning from best practices, the innovators worked on skills which will help them succeed in their future leading role as change makers. 
in the negotiation workshop, uh, I found totally uh, new learning for me because what we have learned so far that is lobbying and advocacy approaches, understanding the situation, uh, the body uh, language, and the understanding of the people to whom I want to negotiate. Next, it was time for learning by doing. Experimenting with a new approach or method aimed at reaching sustainability and scale within running WASH projects. My experiment is um, mainly focused on establishing a workable business model uh, on existing WASH service. What I hope to see to make it a success is to see household ladrins constructed in the experiment community in order to improve sanitation. Well, the experiment is all about financing sanitation products through artisan and medicine empowerment. My experiment is about appropriate means of managing water chaos. We met in Bangladesh to help each other with the challenges and opportunities that had arisen from the experiments and to see the Bangladeshi experiments for ourselves. From Deepak's experiment on closing the circle of a fecal sludge management value chain and the upscaling of the Sunnybart business by Aklima. Uh, this service is so much easy, uh, comfortable, affordable to uh, adolescent girls as well as women. To a pretty impressive sanitation business in the Bagherat municipality and the working ways of budget tracking by Zobaia. This is product coming out from a open budget session. From the last year, they have separated wash budget. It really inspired the Ghanaian, Ethiopian and Nepali to see the working ways of the wash sector players in Bangladesh. Experimenting with these new approaches led to various new insights. Many times the prices at which NGOs offer products or services are based on the costs instead of what the market is willing to pay. In other words, proper market research is often overlooked. Assessing your customers' needs is key to a successful business. There is some puzzle to me that the crunching the number, which is the suitable price I feed for the customers. If an NGO is convinced that setting up a business will generate the highest impact, they should choose their role within this process carefully. If it fits their capacities, they can even become a business partner. Or they can fulfill the role of key facilitator to further partnerships and train WASH entrepreneurs, for example. In both cases, it is advisable to phase out over time to allow for competition and local entrepreneurs to grow the business and make it sustainable. If your target group can't pay for your product in cash, you need to plan for them to have access to a credit or savings product by linking them to a financial institution. To interest financial institutions, you need to think like them. Can a credit product be designed that is both profitable for a financial institution and feasible for the customer to repay? One thing that I've learned is low-cost sanitation products that artisans can produce you can use some local materials and i think that with this technology if i'm able to go back to ghana with it then it will go a long way to reduce the open defecation that have been bothering us all these years these learned lessons were immediately implemented into the existing wash projects of the participants this led to new partnerships with financial institutions in northern ghana a revised design of a sanitation revolving fund the creation of a full-fledged value chain for fecal sludge management in Bangladesh and a sanitation business in Nepal. Equally important, though, are the 17 pioneers who will fulfill a leading role by inspiring their colleagues, partners and donors to join them in their journey towards a future with sustainable approaches that offer water and sanitation for all. I want to be able to be an ambassador with the ideas I get from learning trajectory in order to advise others on the sanitation funding sector. Our dream is really to trigger change in the system, for us to concretize business approaches that other partners can really work with, so that in five years' time or ten years' time, we want to see these systems running. It's been wonderful and inspiring. It's open to all <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you for watching. We hope you keep on linking and learning with us.